Excel is a great tool to plot multiple types of graphs. However, in scientific writing, Excel might not be sufficient to plot some of the complex graphs and figures. So today I'm going to show you uh, a freeware, uh, Cy Davis, uh, that can be extremely helpful and having multiple tools to plot graphs of all the types. As an example, I'm going to use a calibration plot uh, that commonly used in many scientific experiments. So in this video, Cy Davis is used to plot a typical calibration graph. You can go to Cy Davis web page to download the Cy Davis software Again, it's a freeware. You can download it without any cost. So this is a web page, and if you click the download button, it will redirect to the download page. So here's the download uh, button. You can download it without any issue. Again, on the Cy Davis page, there's a help or a guide if you need to plot some other types of graphs. You can use the help page to really learn how to use Cy Davis. After installing, you will see this kind of a welcome window on Cy Davis. So it's a, it's a typical uh, window for many this type of softwares. Now one key advantage of Cy Davis from Excel, you can directly copy paste the data. So here's the concentration and the response and the error of each data point. So I developed this data hypothetically to show you how to use the Cy Davis. So concentration data, I'm gonna copy to the Cy Davis. So you can see here it's one X. So the first column, the X data, and the second column is the response data. So you can copy this easily to Cy Davis. Now, the other thing is you can change this data to numeric data to text or any other type. Again, format, you can use the scientific format and you can decide the number of decimals. Now, if you want to plot the calibration graph, you can just select the two sets of data x and the y you can go here the scatter type of a plot so here's the plot i know it's a little smaller so let's make it a little bigger just to understand how to change some of these things already on the graph so table again i don't need this and the title you can double click on it and you can delete it because you don't use the title over there. So these are the data points. You can change the axis title. So this is the, the response. Uh, so I'm going to type press response. You can add any subscript, superscript letters, any special symbols, bold, arrows, italic, and underline. Even you can change the color of the font. So these are the, the key advantage of using side So that's the response axis. And this is the concentration axis. Now let's type concentration. If you want to have the typical units, all want to make it superscript you can make it superscript then close the bracket so apply that gives you the final graph now in this graph if you want the best fit line you can add that easily just 
go into tools uh, analysis quick fit fit linear so if you click this one it provides you the basic fit line if you want to have the the graph of it if you want to have the graph of it then you can just use this uh, information and you can just get the uh, y positive mix plus c type graph of this so that's how you can plot the graph and uh, the next big issue is how to add the error bars so you can try the graph after this level then we'll look at how to really add the error bars now to, to add the error bars we need the, the data column with the error of each data point so let's look how to add the error bar column so this is plus and this is 3y but I have to change it uh, right click set column has y error so that's the error column again you can copy the data directly from here to the column so that's the data now if you want to insert the error you can just go here uh, you can see each one having different functions so this one having add error bars select error bars table one column three this is the third column y error bar add so that's simply add the error bars usually the red color line I don't like so I'm going to click on it I'm going to change the linear fit line color to black. If you like, you can have dotted line or you can have dash line. Line width can be improved as well. So that's the things you can do using side A. So that's my calibration plot. So I hope you understood how to use side A to plot a calibration graph with error bars at each data point.